So welcome back to a brand new episode of Walking and Talking with Tim. And my guest today is John Lorenzo, president and CEO of 2-2 Creative, right? Yes, sir. And John is gonna, gonna start off by telling you exactly what 2-2 Creative does, as if you can't see, but <laughs> we're gonna have him tell you anyway. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Tim, for having me on this episode. Really appreciate it. 2-2 Creative is your graphics partner for your brand. We are, we don't like to say we're a one-stop shop, but we are. We are a one-stop shop for your brand. We do everything from graphic design uh, to printing your logo on everything that you see in this frame, <laughs> as well as the vehicles you see on the street, the marketing materials you hand to your customers, and the signage that you use at different trade shows. We really are a one-stop shop for all of your brand's creative needs. I can back that up. <laughs> Appreciate it. So as you can see, um, we've got the Walk and Talk and Tim logo. We've got the Telecorp Technologies logo. You see the Tutu Creative logo. John has created all of these logos. Um, mine in particular, which I'm super happy with. John has done all of our stuff. I mean, apparel from creating the logo to apparel to you know ads to our trucks. I mean, you name it, <laughs> and they've done it. You've done it. He is my brand ambassador, as I call him. <laughs> so I love them. But um, uh, so we're going to get right into talking about, you know, what exactly it is that John's all about, right? So John has a pretty interesting heritage, right? Yeah, Filipino. Yeah, he's Filipino and his family is, um, you, you immigrated in, which was, what was the first immigration? Uh, they came here in 89. Gotcha. And uh, I'm first generation born here in America. Uh, so I got that grit and I want to live that American dream. Uh, and that's really why we work so hard. My parents came here with a couple hundred bucks in their pocket. Uh, my grandparents luckily were here to give them shelter. But other than that, it was just taking advantage of every opportunity uh, this country has given us. And uh, that's what keeps me hungry. That's what keeps <laughs> me going is knowing that uh, we started here in 89 with nothing. Right. Well, you talked about your mom and dad. So yeah. Tell us, tell everybody about mom and dad yeah mom and dad uh met in the philippines in college uh, they came here my mom was too light to be a nurse <laughs> that's hard they to wouldn't believe. let her actually get her nursing uh degree which is kind of strange was, but i know right but uh, i guess because she was so light that she couldn't carry anybody she, she couldn't really lift anybody uh, my dad was a mechanical engineer but uh when they came here they had to to find different paths because uh for, as an engineer he had to go back to school, and uh, I was born uh, when they came here first, so they had to get right to work. <laughs> so he Somebody uh, had to pay for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, diapers ain't cheap. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so uh, my, my dad fell back on, on his skill. He's a mechanic, and he's been a master technician at Turnersville Toyota for 30 plus years now. Which explains all your cars and trucks. Yeah, it explains I, the, I was the curious cars. why you're always buying Toyotas. <laughs> You know, they, they've taken care of us and uh, they've always kept us home and got us home safe. So uh, my, my dad's a master technician and my mom was actually a formulation chemist. She actually worked on things like icy hot. Uh, <laughs> really? To develop that, yeah. So my mom, uh, she has like this mini lab at home. She makes actually like anti-aging face creams. Really? She, she doesn't really sell it, but she uh, she makes it for her, our family and stuff and it, it really does work. They all use it and they all look great. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, Mom, can you send some to me, please? Yeah, you Rosella. Know? There Check you go. Out. Rosella, hook me up. <laughs> hook me up. So, uh, yeah, my, my parents have just been the reason why me and my little brother work so hard. Uh, they always have given us what we need, but not always what we want. And anything that we wanted, we had to earn it every step of the way. Yeah, so. man. And you're in the middle of a big expansion now, so talk a little bit about... Talk a little bit about... Um, the risk, because that's the big deal right now. The grit, the risk, you know, I Absolutely. love Absolutely. We had, we had an amazing growth year, thanks to so many of our clients and our partners. And this year we decided this is the time we had a great opportunity. Someone moved out next door to us. We're Luckily. doubling our space, I know. <laughs> Luckily. After looking all year last year for larger space, because, you know, we do print production. So that's, we need room for equipment and stuff. Uh, luckily the, the dentist moved out next door and we said, hey, we'll take it. Yeah. So we're in the middle of uh, doubling our office space right now. We've grown to a team of nine and uh, giddy up. 
man, they motivate me every day. <laughs> they really do. The people that we have just care. And I've seen some of the new space. It looks awesome. Thank you. The, the, the dentist had some pretty cool shapes that you kept. It was a children's dentist, so they had a lot of curves. Yeah, and love angles. it. <laughs> so uh, it adds a lot of character to our creative space. Yes. Uh, and yeah. you have creative people. We do. That is the creative side of Tutu Creative HQ. So all the uh, all the creatives are on that old dentist side. It's all finished now. Now we're working on the production side. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. And so let's 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 segue right into the fact that your girlfriend Dana. Yeah. What's up, Dana? <laughs> works with you. She does. Yes, she that's does. awesome. I actually think it would be I'd love to see Dana get out to a lot more networking events. I'm just I'm just throwing it out there, Dana. I think so too. She would be great at it. Yeah, Deb's doing it. It's good. it's going great. I think it'd be great. But <laughs> but that aside, um you're you you guys have been together three years. Three years. We're working on that fourth. Yep. I think I think I think maybe we found the one, Dana. I think so. I'm just throwing that out there too. So you know, it's coming. So that's cool, right? Yeah. You know. So you have discovered, as I did, that you can work with your your, your, your partner, your partner, right? Yeah. So it's not it's not impossible. It's not. And and I think that um, uh, for me, we have more good times than not. Like we are way we are definitely at the 95 percentile yeah. of we're doing good all the time. Yeah. How about you? No, it really is. So we've only been uh, working together for maybe like six to eight months already. Uh, and it's a process, but uh, <laughs> it's getting better every day. It honestly is. And it's really rewarding to know that we're building something together, something that uh, is gonna feed our family one day, takes care of all of the people at the office. It's, it's so rewarding to build that with uh, the person that you spend your life with. Yeah, and you told me also that you met her yeah. on Bumble. Did. And that's kind of cool. It can happen. <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> it can happen. That's pretty cool, though. I, I, well, Bumble's the, like the safe one. That's Are the, any that, of them safe? Well, I don't know. That's how, they, that's how the, 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 the owner touts it. Like, it's the, yeah. it's we're the safer of the dating sites, whatever. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But... I, I bought some of her stock. I kind of, I kind of, you know, oh, yeah? I bought in, you know. Oh man, that's awesome. Yes. See, so we're living proof. <laughs> the company works. Thank God it's working. <laughs> we need more of you. Cause the stock's not not doing that <laughs> great, not great, doing right great right now. <laughs> <laughs> so so what's next for you? I mean, as far as you know, we know you're building out. We yeah. know you guys are are, are are pushing strong into 2023. Yeah. You know, what are you looking for in your life? Though? What do you want to do next? What's up for you, man? Honestly, it's balance. It's finding that balance, which is the hardest thing I think for all of us to to find, right? But uh, right now, it's all about trying to figure out how to divide myself into all of my team members, <laughs> you know, so that into uh, pieces, into pieces. You know, not everybody has to take all of John. Compartmentalize it. Compartmentalize things. it. But uh, it's really finding that balance and and uh, being able to take care of a little bit, a bit more of me more me time yeah. this year uh and then it's trying to figure out what is next i honestly don't know what's next tim what's all your... i know is we we make the best of every opportunity that presents itself and yeah. we keep an open mind and what's your what's your favorite um thing to get behind as far as charity is what are you what are you passionate about yeah big ymca person uh i love ymca there are so many more programs that the y has other than just their centers uh from their watershed my bike program that they do in, in camden right uh to their soccer for success uh there is so much more that happens at the y than just what happens inside the centers i didn't know that yeah so uh, and you working with the one right here in woodbury or where, where are you working uh i'm on the board for the greater philadelphia ymca oh. but mostly serve on this side of the bridge okay. for sure that's pretty cool. So yeah. it's Cameron, right? Over here? Camden. We have Mount No, his Long. name is Cameron, right? Right here in Woodbury. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've heard about him. Mm -hmm. Pretty good guy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Excellent. Matter of fact, Cameron, we need to have you on the show. So <laughs> anyway, so, so, so some fun stuff. Like, you know, favorite music artist. Ooh, favorite music artist. Because you, I know you have an eclectic. Uh, I do. I'm a big Stevie Wonder guy. That's big interesting. Big Stevie Wonder guy. Yeah, uh, my parents. I like. Up, I like that. I grew up listening to the oldies. My parents they used to always play in the car. 
I used to love the Stevie Wonder CDs. I would always. I like them. that you like someone who has so much talent. So much talent. The so guy's insanely talented. Yeah. Right. Love Stevie. Yeah, man, that guy's unbelievable. <laughs> um, favorite movie. Ooh, favorite movie. <laughs> oh. I, I think it's gotta be Wedding Crashers. Really? I'm, I'm a big Wedding Crashers guy. That, that, that movie's just too funny. <laughs> I don't know, if, if I'm ever in a bad mood, I can throw in Wedding Crashers. Actually, Lion King. Big Disney person too. Me too. Lion King's gotta be my favorite. Ever in a bad mood, throw that on. So you like Disney? Like Disney. All right, so then that runs me right into travel. Where do you, <laughs> want, where do you like to go? Oh, so uh, love to travel. Recently, we just went to Vail, Colorado. And this year, we've got a trip to the Philippines for three weeks. Wow. So we're going in March. Super excited. I've actually never been to the Philippines. So I've never but you been have home. family there. Have some family there. We're going to meet a lot of Dana's family there as well. So it's going to be a really amazing trip to kind of bring it all together. Yeah, man. Yeah. Everything's going to come full circle for it, you. It is. This is, this is like a fun year. We're going to do a little bit of traveling and just trying again to find that balance. So... Is, is is just you and Dana going or is your yeah. whole family going? No, just me and her. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to go and meet her family. She's going to go meet the rest of my family over there. And uh, we're going to go uh, check out some of the beaches. You're going to meet her family. So you're going to meet her dad. Well, her dad's here. Okay. Yeah, but her aunts, her cousins, a lot of them are here. So it's going to be really cool to see that extended family. Dana, I see this him getting the stamp of approval. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's what it sounds like is going to happen. So good stuff coming. All right, very cool. Yeah. So now I know you're part of a lot of things with uh, that have to do with um, uh, young entrepreneurs. I know you're part of chambers. Yeah. I know you do a lot of stuff. I do a lot with um, a lot with Burlington in particular, right, mm -hmm. Christy? Yeah. So, you know, um, I ask this question of almost every guest: What advice do you give? Would you have for the young up and comers? Because you're still a young guy. Yeah. You're doing a lot. Yeah. So what's your advice to the people that would want to do their own thing? Don't overthink it and don't be afraid to fail. You know, I, I think we get that's inside, it. that's it. <laughs> Just don't overthink it. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is uh, an opportunity for you to learn. It is the world's best teaching tool. Uh, obviously don't feel too big, but uh, you just gotta try. You gotta try, because tomorrow's not promised and the longer you delay it, you know, it's like me would go into the gym. I, I should have shed these 10, 15 pounds last From year. From Christmas? But I still have it. So I should probably start and take some of my own advice and get to the gym tonight. All right, we'll work on that one. <laughs> well, um, I will say this. I will say that I would refer John to anybody. Obviously, as you can Thank see, you. I love everything John does. And so does everybody at Telecorp and Technologies, and so does my wife and, you know, the whole gang. Everybody yeah. loves everything you do. John's just a great guy to work with. So um, we have a very similar mentality towards service. Yeah. You know, um, we're the guys that show up. Yep. Right? Yeah. yeah you, we believe the same thing. We believe you got you to gotta get in front of the client to really get something done. You do. The right way. You do. Your clients are everything. I mean, they are the ones who are feeding you. You know, it's an Amen. exchange of trust. Uh, and once you, my, my dad always told me, trust is the hardest thing to earn and the quickest, quickest thing, thing to, to lose. lose. <laughs> there you go, Tim. That's it. So every day we were. That's ourselves. the nugget we're going to end on. I yeah. love it. That's well, listen, it. thanks for being on. And Thank if you. people want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? Absolutely. So probably most active on our Instagram. You can either follow me on JP Lorenzo 22 or our business page, 22 Creative, and that's TWO, TWO. Uh, but check us out on all social platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. There you go. And to everybody else that's watching, thanks for watching. Keep on moving, keep on walking. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, and we will see you next time on Walking and Talking with, with Tim. Tim. <laughs> Peace. Peace.